In this video, I'm going to talk about GUID function within Microsoft Power Automate. So I'm in make.powerautomate.com interface. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly create one instant cloud flow and I'll name it as GUID demo. Now, what is a GUID? GUID is a globally unique identifier. It is usually used by Dataverse and SQL database for uh, generating the unique identifier for a record. So basically you can assume that that's as a primary key. It's a 32 bit string, uh, uh, basically having uh, alphanumeric characters, but then it has a hex related characters uh, embedded in it. Now I'm in make.powerautomate interface. I've used an instant flow. I'll just show you how a GUID looks like. Uh, if you see on the screen on the top, you'll see this environment ID. This is in the form of a GUID. Now here you can see alphanumeric characters, but this is a hex character. So you will have A, B, C, D, E, F characters, and then numbers from zero to nine. Now, how to generate a unique GUID? So what you can do is like when you create a flow, you just click on new step. And just to hold on to that GUID, I'll use a compose action. And in that compose action, I'll just write a simple function, which will just call a GUID. So this is GUID. It says generates a globally unique string. And I'll click on save. And I'll click on another step. And I'll say send email. Send an email V2. I'll send it to myself. And in the body, I'll just type in the GUID which we will generate uh, from the compose action. Okay, and it will send an email. So that's all about sending out an email uh, with a GUID in the body. Parallelly, I'll open email as well public and once this flow is saved i will go ahead and give it a quick run Now I have called that GUID function and I'm sending that GUID in an email. So in a short time, we should be getting an email with a GUID. So as you see over here, I have received one email with a GUID. Now this is how the GUID looks like. This is the format. So there are three, four, eight characters, then four characters, then four characters, four characters and then we have 12 characters okay so eight four 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 twelve so eight and then 12 20 and 32 so 32 characters separated by hyphen so this is how the standard guid looks like but many system uses guid in a different format although they represent the same number but then it is slightly in a different way now I'll show you how to generate that GUID in Power Automate as well. So coming back to Power Automate, now what we have done, we have just sent out an email with a simple GUID function, but there is more to it. Now here, I'll just write GUID and in the bracket, I'll just write P. And I'll write a function expression GUID and in bracket I'll just put D as a parameter and I will go ahead and I'll create another string GUID and this time I'm going to put N and here now I'm going to pass the parameter N string parameter save this 
Now let's test this. So I've sent GUID, which is nothing but a uh, no parameters in it. Then I have a GUID D and GUID N. So as you see here, I have received another email. Now, if you see GUID with no parameter and GUID with a parameter as D, uh, both are of similar format. Now, the numbers are different because it will every time it will generate a unique identifier. So it will be different every time. Now, the only difference between D and N is that the there is no hyphen in N. So if you want the GUID with just like a uh, no uh, hyphen in it, no dash in it, then you can use the parameters as n. By default, if you don't pass anything, it is assumed that you're passing parameters t. Now, are there any other format? Yes, there are. So there are a couple of more formats. So here, I'm going to put the parameter as p now. And I'll write a function. Call GUID and the parameter is P. Save it. Now N is attributed to say just like a number uh, or like just a number good uh, with no hyphens. P uh, indicates parentheses and then we have another called as X. If I pass the parameter as X Click on save, save. So let's see what the output turns out to be. Now, why this is important is because if you're dealing with various other systems like third party systems or system belonging to Linux or uh, Mac OS or any other system, uh, then there are different formats which have been used uh, for different applications. So this function will come handy at that point of time. So I've received an another email. Now, if you closely compare, we have seen GUID and GUIDD are similar or same rather. Uh, N does not have a hyphen in it and P has a parenthesis. So it is enclosed with a parenthesis. So as you see over here, but it has hyphen. OK, so if you want hyphen, but you need a parenthesis enclosed, use the P format. If you do not want parenthesis, if you do not want uh, any uh, hyphen in it then use n and then GUID x is something different it will give you that hex value so as you see over here it says 0x1474b97f comma 0x403e 0x4b92 so if you want it in this representation format with a curly braces then go for x format so like this with GUID as a function in Microsoft Power Automate you can generate various format for GUID uh, which can be used across multiple systems belonging to different platform. So that's it, folks. This is how you basically generate a GUID in Microsoft Power Automate. Thanks for watching.